Some major changes coming to Vancouver City Hall this year. 21 people are running for mayor. Vision Vancouver, the party that's dominated city politics for the last decade under Mayor Gregor Robertson, will not have a mayoral candidate. We have about, uh, looks like 260 homes are now completed. They're built, they're, they're uh, either already occupied or just about to have people move into them. During and, his three uh, terms in office, Vancouver faced some of its greatest trials. As soon as Gregor Robertson stepped into power, the global recession hit, property values skyrocketed, as well as an unprecedented amount of overdose deaths. The opioid overdose crisis has been incredibly difficult for us because it's a health issue and the city's, while not directly responsible for health, we obviously play a key role and uh, with our first responders, our fire and rescue service and our police. From making Vancouver the greenest city in the world by 2020 and ending homelessness by 2015, Robertson had some bold initiatives for BC's largest city. And while he is criticized for most, he has accomplished many goals. The unemployment rate is among the lowest in the country at 4.5 percent, and more than half of residents use transportation as opposed to vehicles. Key issues dogging Robertson and the rest of council have been housing affordability, with an average price for a detached home at $1.5 million. Homelessness is on the rise, with over 2,000 people in this year's count. Whoever wins this election, the outgoing mayor hopes his successor will continue working with the province, putting an end to the opioid crisis. There's some key steps the city needs to keep pressing on the province for. Um, that's a crisis, you know, that none of us want to see continue. Uh, and, and it's, you know, it's just chewing away uh, at the fabric of the city and uh, that needs a lot more attention and a lot more pressure on the province and the feds. In Vancouver, Mary Cranston, City News.